I'm Dr. Brenda Bryant. Um, I am professor of English at Delgado Community College. My name is Bailey Benjamin. I have taken two classes with Dr. B. I took Madness and Literature last semester, which was super fun, and I'm taking um, Structures of Western Thought with her right now. She's always so excited to tell you when she discovered something and what that meant. This is my first class with Dr. B. Um, my son and my daughter-in-law had taken her class and thought that they really enjoyed it and thought that I would enjoy it. So I took it. Once he gets what he wants, he's gone. So he really just got to voice his opinion and that was about it. Yeah, that was about it. You know, so he's just there for, he's a hothead guy. Uh, my undergrad is from Indiana University. My master's is from Uni uh, University of New Orleans. And my PhD is from um, the University of Alabama. Um, the class that you were in today is an honors class. So we take a more Socratic approach to teaching where everybody sits in a circle and everybody has the points of discussion so that we know where we're going with our discussion and we interplay with each other so that they free, feel freely to openly ask questions and we move back and forth between the points of discussion. Getting my students involved and being able to see the psychological um, complexities of characters. Uh, one of the classes that I developed was the Madness in Literature class where every character is insane and uh, we sort of put the character on the couch and discuss them as though they're real people in some ways, that they're, as a literary character and their psychological complexities. She likes to share with us like experiences and places that she has gone and shows us pictures and different things to fully make us understand what we're reading. And um, now we're on to uh, another part of her class and she really breaks it down to terms that we can all understand if we have never studied any kind of Greek mythology or anything before which I have not. I would definitely recommend her as a teacher because she is one of the best English teachers I've ever had. A lot of the time, I don't get any kind of challenge. I just write a paper, turn it in, and that's all I've got to do. But she expects so much more out of me. <laughs> um, no, I've, I've really enjoyed and loved teaching here at Delgado. And I've um, done a multiple of things from running the newspaper to um, the student uh, literary magazine. I've been honors director for eight years and now I decided to go back full-time into the classroom, which I'm loving. <laughs>